good afternoon, morning, night, whenever time you're watching this video. My name is Danny Olish. This is 2013 Music Messe in Frankfurt, Germany. I'm from SM Pro Audio, as you can see. Uh, we'll be talking today about a couple of our new products, uh, new 500 series products. At the NAMM show, we released uh, several 500 series modules, the uh, tube box, the MBC 502 and the PEQ 505 the Juice Box 8 power supply with digital routing, the Juice Box 3 power supply with digital routing, as well as the Juice Box 1. Uh, we designed a new mic preamplifier here. That's the Pre-Z. Why do we call it the Pre-Z? Because it has a variable impedance control. The variable impedance control will give you a full range of new tonality to your microphone. And the standard impedance just matches it basically in some fashion. Uh, we want to sometimes unmatch the impedance to the microphone to give you a totally different um, characteristic without using EQ. Uh, we have around 68 dB of gain here, uh, fully variable low pass and high pass filter. It's a totally new design in a lovely hand machined knobs uh, made out of aluminium as well as CNC panels uh, utilizing LME 49720s. Will it handle ribbons? It'll handle ribbons. That's the nice thing about it because of the variable impedance and plenty of gain to handle ribbons as far as that's concerned. So does that mean can you, you can tune the, the, the Z? Uh, you can tune the Z. To the mic? To the mic. Or not, but, or not to the mic. That's the whole idea, to get a totally different sound. Because basically you're searching for different sounds. So the, every mic pre is going to give you something different. And the tonality uh, of this mic preamplifier can be changed much more than a Mac preamplifier that doesn't have a variable Z. So what happens to the tonality when, you ch when it changes? It, it, it will depend again on the microphone itself, what's going to happen to it. So you're going to get different results from different microphones. But you, you kind of think about it as like opening the sound or closing the sound in, in a sense. Uh, sometimes it'll add more brightness, sometimes it'll add kind of a muddiness to it in so a it's sense. It's like a tilt. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it'll add some of a kind of a muddiness to it as well. But the, the whole idea of it is really to give you uh, more control over the sound and maybe to find that perfect sound in the end that you love for that particular situation. Um, and not reasonably priced, we're talking around $300 retail price. Nice VU. In a nice VU, yeah. And we've got the standard, you know, standard pad and, and phantom power as far as that's concerned. Now, a little uh, accompanying product to it, which uh, you would be nice to have with every mic free, but not every mic free does have one. Uh, actually, none of them have one, which is a totally variable phase control. Not just a phase reverse, a total 180, but totally variable from zero to 180. So, for example, you're doing a stereo miking of a guitar, an acoustic guitar. You're going to have some phase cancellation there. Now, most people would just flip one side, but that doesn't really fix the problem totally. So, if you run one of them to a totally variable phase control, and you basically listen to the sound, vary the phase, suddenly it'll open up for you. So, it pops into focus. And it pops into focus. It's like a focus control in a sense. A phase control in a sense is like a focus control. Uh, you're doing overheads of drums, uh, you're doing uh, miking up toms, There's, uh, uh, doing drums, a uh, kick drum, for example. You want to tune that kick so it sits exactly and punches when the rest of the track is punching. You can use a variable phase control to do that. So you could use that with uh, like tuning for mid-side combinations as well? Well, you could certainly do that, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a myriad of things you can do with the, with the actual phase control, whether it's bringing in things into the mix more, or pushing them back more, or cancelling uh, situations. For example, you're doing this video, and if you're using two microphones, another one might be constantly cancelling the other signal because it's in another location, you're getting that type sound you can run a, a variable phase control over it and fix that problem. Just need to provide with a battery pack as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, we can make you a 500 series rack with a battery pack <laughs> and you can carry it on your, on your belt, Nick. Love to. Yes, so yeah. presumably that's also, that it has to not sound like it, it has to not color the sound. It just has well, it doesn't color the sound, it just varies the phase of it in a sense. So it's basically, if you talk about sine wave, it's, it's kind of moving it that way. And if you've got another one down the bottom, you want to move it away from it so it doesn't cancel each other. So, uh, okay. 
So this is just, a signal processor, it's not adding any gain? Or no, no. This is it. I mean, there is a, a gain stage there, basically, to vary the output level so you can match it to other things. But yeah, basically, it's not, it's not trying to add any tonality or any coloration to the signal itself. We're trying to stay away from that as much as possible. Again, using very high quality LME49720 op amps, which we're using in all our 500 series uh, products that give you better bandwidth and low noise and, and a really nice characteristic to the sound that everybody likes. So when, when and how much is this? Going uh, same price as the $299 uh, retail price. I think these two should be uh, available in stores in around about six to seven weeks time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So the rack started to cut, get a nice... Uh uh, a nice selection of modules. A nice selection of modules. I mean, you can really build a, a very uh, substantial channel strip uh, from uh, either a tube pre, and you can select between a tube pre or, or, or a normal pre Z preamp, uh, have them in there, running them to a dual band compressor into the five uh, parametric EQs, not five band EQ, but five separate full range parametric EQs with Q frequency and gain control. Um, in, in, with a Pre-Z and yeah, with our digital routing on the Juice Box 8 and that gives you a really variable sound generating, manipulating um, box. Thank you.